Hi everyone, Niklas Seidloff here. IBM Connections is social software for business that lets you access everyone in your professional network, including your colleagues, customers and partners. XPages is IBM's rapid application development platform for web and mobile applications. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a simple scenario how a Connections community has been extended using XPages. I'll focus on the typical user experience and show that users cannot see which parts of the community application have been built via XPages versus which parts are core Connections functionality. Technically, I had to write some code to make this work. I'll blog about this over the next days or weeks separately and I want to open source these utilities. With these utilities, however, it's a matter of a few hours to build an extension as the one that I will demonstrate now. So here's my connection server running and I've created a new IBM Connections development community. I can open it and I'm currently logged in as Frank Adams, who's the only member and the owner of this community. The community has two key widgets here. One is the block widget and the other one is the news widget. The block widget comes out of the box with connections and the news widget is a custom extension to um, connections that has been built using X pages. From an end user perspective, it's transparent how these different widgets have been implemented. Um, for example, when I resize the um, size of the window here, um, the um, news widget increases its size and vice versa, it decreases its size. Um, so this hap doesn't happen automatically, unfortunately, since um, an iframe is used here and I had to write some code to resize the iframe automatically. Um, another example uh, for transparent um, for this transparency is that when you hover over a um, username, you get this pop-up here to show the business card, which is the same functionality that you get within this core um, block widget. In addition to these overview widgets, you can also open the news widget, the X page, here in full page mode. And when I scroll down, I scroll to the very end. Um, and when I um, change the window size here, again, the size of my iframe of the X page um, is changed automatically as well. Um, so when I go up, I can show another feature, uh, which is this icon here. I have the ability to add these links here directly into my bookmarks in Connections. Um, so when I um, switch to the bookmarks application, you can see that um, Frank Adams doesn't have any bookmarks yet. Um, and when I go back and then um, click on this icon here, I get this um, short indication that something has happened. And now when I go to bookmarks and do a refresh, you can see that this bookmark has been added. Now, um, what you could also see or what you could not see was that Frank Adams didn't have to authenticate again because there is a single sign-on both um, on the UI side as well as on the backend side. Um, because what happened here was that the X page invoked a Connections REST API call um, on behalf of Frank Adams. And that's another extension that I implemented. Um, yet another feature is the ability for um, Frank Adams here to create a new entry in this news application. Yet another functionality is the ability for Frank Adams to create a new news entry. So I can click on here and then I can define a subject, test, and then a link, HTTP, X, X pages info, Frank Adams, and entry is test as well. Then I can scroll down and post it. And here it is, it shows up directly um, in my um, news stream. Um, so now I want to show how another user um, can access that same community. So I, ha I had to switch to another browser here and I'm currently not logged in. When I open the same activity, uh, the same con uh, community, I can see now all these entries including the new one that I just created. And when I open this um, um, use widget, 
um, I can read all these entries, but I cannot do any, I cannot invoke any actions because I'm not logged in yet. So that's what I have to do next. I say login and I log in as Anna Bauer. And now that she's logged in, and since Anna is a Connections user, she also has the ability to add these links to her Connections bookmarks. The next thing I want to do, however, is I want to show how um, Anna can also create new entries in this news stream. So I go back to um, my other browser, to Frank Adams, who is the owner of this um, community. And now when I go to Members, I can add Members here, and I can say um, Anna Bauer, there she is. I select her and save. And now Anna has been added to this community, um, but not only to this community, but also technically to the ACL of the underlying Domino um, NSF database that contains all the data, all the news entries. So when I switch back to um, Anna's browser now, and um, I click on members, you can see that obviously she has been added here as well. And now when I go to news, um, Anna also sees the new entry button here because um, she's now a member of this community and she has been added to the ACL um, of that notes database. So this is essentially a, a quick demonstration. I will continue to work on some, some more integration features, for example, a feature that allows you to also do um, full text searches in um, notes databases that are integrated here in Connections. If you have um, special requirements for integrating X pages and Connections, let me know. Thank you.